Hey, every welcome, every welcome. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to day number 43. We have a light leg day coming at us today. I have a single 25 pound kettlebell, 12 kilogram, and you will need a box or ledge or a chair. If you prefer to go body weight today, that's totally fine as well. So go ahead and hinge over your legs with me. Reach your upper body forward. Try to keep your legs straight and grab your elbows with your hands. And then just let your body bounce up and down that upper body. So you get a little extra pull on the hamstrings. And then a little release. And then keep your bounce from bouncing. Bend one knee and then the other. Just like we pedal for our downward facing dog, we're going to pedal here. And our forward fold. Grab through the core, stabilize those legs. Inhale, bring your body all the way up. Grab your left arm, pull over to the right. Grab your right arm, pull to the left. And then we're going to go ahead and lower onto the ground. Extend that right leg long, hug your left knee in, rotate through your ankles a bit. Get them loosened up, switch to the other side. Set your feet on the ground so they're a little wider than your hips. Rotate to the left and then rotate to the right. Good. All right. Let's go through a little set of glute bridges. Get those legs warmed up. And then we'll go into our first set of work. Keep your pelvis stable and neutral. Keep the core locked and strong. Open through those hip flexors, grab through the glutes. <clears throat> Little itty bitty pause at the top. See if you can find that mental muscle connection from mind to muscle. What are we grabbing? What are we using? Where are we building the strength? Where can we put the work? Where do we feel that lactic acid build a little bit faster? Let's go five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Extend your arms and legs, reaching away from one another. Take a nice deep inhale, exhale, round through your back, roll up, reach over those toes. Again, just give yourself a nice little stretch through those hamstrings into your low back a little bit as well. Okay, we're gonna start off, if you choose to go weighted with me, with a goblet squat. So you grab that bell, pull up into your chest. Have a thing with hairs. Set up your toes straight ahead, just outside your hips. We're gonna try to get nice and deep, and we're gonna go for 20 reps. So it shouldn't feel too awfully heavy. Feel the core. Drive up through the heels so you get a little more glute activation. Flexing all the thighs, glutes, core, upper back at the top. Knees and toes line up. Last four reps, three, two, and one. Okay, set your bell down. We're gonna take our little bouncy stretch again. Floating in quite a lot of hamstring stretch today. A little mobility there. Okay, go back to your kettlebell if you're using a kettlebell. And we're gonna do a Patrick step. So you're gonna hold the weight on the leg, stays on the ground, lifted chest, strong core, kick one leg out. We're gonna go for 20. Now we want our knee to pass over the toes, line up with the toes. Trying to keep that pelvis stable and still. Work into the quad a bit. Keep the belly strong. Fifteen. Nineteen. 
19 and 20. Okay, now we'll hit that other side. Just notice the difference a little bit side to side. Stability may be a little different. You may feel like your pelvis wants to rotate or tilt a little bit differently. One knee, I have one knee, struggles to stay tracking with that toe a little more on one leg. So it's good to keep track of that. Bring it back into focus, line it up, keep your form. Five to go. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, next one I am gonna go body weight and we're gonna do a split squat. So one leg up and back on a box behind you, bench, chair, step, whatever. Rotate that back hip forward and enjoy a little hip flexor stretch here first. And then we're gonna go into that split squat. Belly strong, three, always strong through that core. And then you wanna line again, the knee and toe up and try to keep your heel driving the force up, right? So the heel is what's tacked into the ground and the glute is then pushing. So the more that you can connect that heel to the ground, that glute's gonna do the work. Five to go. Now we wanna keep our hips squared off. So pull that back hip forward, front hip back. Three, two, and one. Oh, beautiful. Okay, other side. Again, find that square off in your hips. Get everything set up. And then we'll get our 20 reps. Feel that hamstring push. Engage. There's 10. Pull that back hip forward, front hip back. Make sure that most of your body weight is pushing out of that front foot. Not too much on that back foot. Four, three, lining that knee and toe, and one. All right, let's go back into our little hamstring stretch. Hinge over the legs. Feel free to pedal them out or just hold the fold. All right. Next up, we get touchdowns. Same body weight again. Knee and toe line. Back toe cuts behind to the ground. Focus on your range and your form, getting everything lined up. So not too worried about pace at all. More worried about getting that drop, getting my hop, flexing the core, feeling everything line up, get into the right place. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Perfect. All right. I'm going to get this guy out of the way for the next set. There's the set. Nice work. Square off those hips. Bend into your right leg. Extend your left leg forward. We're going to stretch over that hamstring again. and then switch, head up the other side. Bend into that knee, square off the hips, get that stretch. Good job. Back into 
our squats. Here we go for 20. Remember, we want to try to get nice and deep. There's 10. Connect with the body. What's going on? Find flexion through the inner thighs, support. Don't forget about that core. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right. Back into a hamstring stretch. Hinge over the legs or one leg at a time. Find your favorite. You can use that box as well. Kick a leg up onto it and then reach over. Okay. Into those Patrick steps. Start on your second side. So left side holds the weight. Left foot's gonna stay on the ground. Kicking that other leg forward. Only go so low as you do not feel pain in the knee. We're training the muscles to be able to support that forward knee motion. Building flexibility through the ankle, keeping that heel tacked to the ground, building balance, and 20. Other side. Super good to get into single side sets occasionally. See what the discrepancies are. Learn from them and fix them. Keeping the chest up, back long. Keep that heel tacked into the ground. 18, 19, 20. Perfect. Okay. We're going to get those hip flexors open. <clears throat> so one foot forward, one foot back on that box. Pull that back hip down and around. Feel the hip flexor open. Grab tight through the core so we're not putting pressure on the low back. All right, here we go. Feel that thigh flex. Again, putting pressure and weight into that front heel. 10, Keep the chest up, but feel free to extend the back over that leg. Puts a little bit more weight on that front leg. Since we're going body weight, definitely helpful. Feel that burn, 18, 19, and 20. Woo, second round, feel that. Okay, flex it up. Feel that hip flexor open. Pulling that back hip down and around. Okay, here we go. Drop and press. Feel that belly pull back. Put the work where you want it. 
deep hinge in that front hip, hip flexor, 13, hold tight through that core, 18, 19, and 20. Perfect. Beautiful job. All right. Heating up. Super good. Okay, we got our touchdowns coming at us. Remember, square off those hips. Engage through the glutes to help push you up. More focused on form than speed for this. We got a low grade heart rate, it's good. Just hit halfway. Make sure the back is staying long. You're not rounding as you reach forward for that touch. And 20. All right, let's use that box. One leg up, square the hips, lean over. Let's exhale forward, inhale up. Exhale forward, and then inhale up. Other side. Square off the hips. Exhale forward, inhale up. We have one set to go. Our money-making third round. Back to our squats. Here we go. Push in. Feel the work. Think about your pelvis in relationship to the shoulders. So as you drop down, make sure the shoulders and pelvis stay lined up. You're not losing your low back and your butt's not twerking under tweaking under at the bottom five four see if you can feel the weight stay pushing back as you drop two and one fantastic Go this way all right square it off knee and toe your range is up to you. We're here for core as well. Being able to hold posture where we want it, where we need it, even through the move. Feel that quad. Feel the glute also, 18, 19, 20. All right, other side. We'll get our hamstring stretch after this one. Five, line that knee and toe. See if you can feel what's going on with your hip and pelvis. Are you keeping it in place? 17, 18, trying not to twist, and 20. Beautiful. All right. Enjoy a forward fold with me. Oh. Good on those hamstrings, good on your back. Let's 
still go ahead and roll your shoulders back away from those ears and down. Okay, now we get that split squat. All right. One leg forward, one leg back. Feel that hip flexor stretch first, tuck under, grab the core. Here we go. Three, four. Try to keep that thigh on flexion. Envision the tone you're building, the strength. Stronger bones, better balance, healing from any injuries faster. Hopefully there are none in your future. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. Okay, second side. Stretch that hip flexor first. All right. Activate the core. Keep those hips squared off. Three, four, five. Keep your chest tall. Watch your low back, though. That's why we're trying to watch that squared off pelvis. That's try, why we have to hold that core locked in is because the low back may have a tendency to want to sway and compress. You don't want that. Five more. So if that means you need to lean the chest for it a little more, that's fine. Two, one. Oy. All right, forward fold again. Enjoy a little wider stance, maybe. All right, we have those touchdowns coming at us. Okay, here we go. Two, sink low. Utilize the pace to get everything lined up where it needs to be. We're keeping muscle under tension. I gotta watch my left leg where my foot lands. So learn what you gotta watch for. Keep it all tip top shape. Three, two, one. Beautiful job. All right. Fly on your back on your mat. <clears throat> Hug your knees into the chest. Quick second. Perfect. Okay, and then we're just gonna finish with a dead bug. Teeny little bonus. Pack that core. Extend. Contract everything. Pull back. How much can you get your abdomen to flex? Hold steady. That's your purpose. That's your goal right now. It's not just getting your leg and arm to extend away from one another. Eight. Nine. 
Nein. Again. Oof, okay. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Interlace the hands behind your left thigh. Make sure everything is in line. Dig your right elbow into the right knee. Flex both feet, pull deep into the chest. Close your mouth, breathe in and out your nose. Three deep breaths, we're one down. Perfect. Drop your left foot onto the ground. Lift your right leg. Make sure the right hip is rotating down into the mat. Open through the back of the knee and relax in your upper body. Find that same breath. Pull those toes down toward the knee. Try to open the back of the knee. Take your hand on the inside of the calf, extend your left leg long, put your right arm out on the ground. Keep your right shoulder tacked into the ground. Keep your right leg as straight as possible and then rotate it across. Your hips will twist. Your right hip will lift, but your upper back, your shoulder girdle is still flat on the ground. Feel that stretch through. IT band, the back of the knee, all the way down into your arch sometimes. Big old fascia lines. Bend your knee, bring it in, and we're gonna hit up that other side. So make sure you're all squared off again. Cross left ankle over the right knee. Stay squared off. Dig your left elbow into the left knee. Find that breath. Check in and see it throughout your day, not while you're working out. But when you're just focused on something else, see if you can remember to check in occasionally and see if you're able to keep your mouth closed while you're breathing. Drop your right foot onto the ground, lift your left. There seems to be some evidence that shows but it's better to breathe in and out your nose. It's better for your jaw structure. It's better for your nervous system. All right. Extend that right leg long, flat onto the ground. Ooh. Keep your right hand on the inside of the left calf. Put your left arm out and away from you. And then try to keep that left leg straight. You can let your hips rotate. So kind of sometimes once I twist, then I re kind of pull my left shoulder down. Feel the left hip rotate down. Keep the leg pulling straight. Feel that stretch all the way down the back of the leg into the foot. Bend your knee. All right, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna get our hip flexors and our quads. So, bring your right leg forward. Your back knee can stay on the ground if you'd like. Try lifting it and just see how you prefer that stretch today. So let your left hip kind of rotate over and drop down. Feeling that long line of stretch and then get into that hip flexor. Feel that inner thigh on the front side too. Okay, see if you can reach back and grab your foot with your hand. Either hand is totally fine. Open a bit more through that hip flexor, a lot into that quad. Don't 
Don't forget that breath. Close your mouth. Deep in, deep out. Alrighty. Switch it up. Right leg back. Left leg forward. And then again, you decide. Try both. Knee down, knee lifted. I prefer it different ways, different days. All right, drop that back knee down. Grab the foot with your hand, either hand, either arm. Rock back in. Feel that quad and hip flexor continue to open. All right, release the foot. Go into your low yogi squat. Three breaths here. See if you can get your hands together. Elbows inside the knees. Lift through the chest. Okay, and then plant your hands. And this is a good little test. Shoot your hips up as far as you can go, keeping your hands on the ground. You can keep your feet where they were. If you're not able to touch the ground, see how bent uh, with your legs straight. So when your hands start to come off, that's your stopping point. And just stay there with your knees bent, but keep your hands on the ground. And then slowly you should feel and see and notice your flexibility improve. And you can get those hands to stay on the ground, even with those legs straight. All right, roll it up. Fantastic work, everybody. Thanks as always for joining me. And I'll see you tomorrow.